Hey, what's good, YouTube, man? It's 7420TV. Oh, man, man. So we're back with another one, man. So I guess the Chicago Goons didn't catch up to Mr. Dyson Campbell. So he's back, and he's talking more than I ever thought he would talk. But he's talking reckless, bro. Reckless. So I'm done talking, man, because I know y'all came here to see him talk. So I'm just going to lay back and listen with y'all. In case y'all didn't notice, man, I took some time off for me, right? Wait, I'm sorry. I'm going to pause this early, but he said well, we took some time. He took some time off. I mean, we know you did because you always posting videos every three seconds. So we know you wasn't here. For me, I don't know what you cats is talking about. How's this running from who? From what? Man. Peace and love to everybody in the building. First and foremost, man. I hope and I pray that everybody that's watching me is taking time to get yourself together. Because the reality of it is, most of us is living in poverty and pain. And a lot of dudes is bragging about getting rich off of our pain. You understand that? First of all, whoa, whoa. What do you mean getting rich off of our pain? You use our pain to get up where you at now, and then you delu then you belittle everybody that's underneath you. So what do, what exactly are you talking about, bro? You need to elaborate a little more because before I listened to this, I listened to Kwame, and he said that you double talked damn near the whole time you talked. The rich is sitting up there whining and dining off of expensive pain. The expensive pain is off of your backs, man. They'll sell you anything and keep you in poverty. The rich stay getting rich while the poor stay poor. That's the game right there. And they're willing to sell you and display all types of ignorance to keep you in a state of ignorance. Even your children. Shall we begin? I ain't come here to play no games. And I'm not staying on this live long neither. Because I'm not going to let you energy vampires drain me. I only came here to go live. Yo, Kwame, right, bro. Do you got to relate everything to a movie or a rapper or entertainer? Like, you you can't talk without using analogies, like, from that type of shit. Because, bro, you really dug a hole for yourself that I really thought you was going to cover the hole up and, and chill. But, nah, you just as dumb as everybody thought you was. I to acknowledge my supporters, the people that helped to build my platform, not you haters. Who Active close, thanks on? for the donation, fam. Appreciate you. The trust lady, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, most definitely. We ain't come here to play no games. I want to show y'all something, right? Miss Rather Unique, just supporting my favorite platform. Thank you, sis. I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody that's been holding me down. See, the reality of it is, right? There's a team of the dirty section of YouTube. That be mass flagging me trying their best to knock my channel down. I thought the dirty section of YouTube would be like the pedophiles, the kitty touchers, like allegedly the brother polite, you, people like that. <laughs> but you consider the dirty YouTube is just regular people who voice their opinion and you don't like their opinion. We know that because when you apologize to Kwame, you called a whole bitch fit because he didn't accept it. So, bruh. If I were you, I wouldn't come on here with all that cockiness shit. Because for real, I really feel like your life at stake because you really did some shit. And you can't you can reverse that, bro. They trying their best to knock my, my channel down. But one of the dudes that I'm going to uh, address right now that I couldn't even believe he said that, Jojo Capone, you supposed to be, you call yourself a global gangster. And you actually got the, the audacity. Jojo Capone, you actually got the audacity. To be sitting up there telling YouTubers to flag my platform? Why, you don't want me to feed my kids, son? Or is it because you're jealous? Because you were into... Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Bruh, what would he be jealous over? Look at you, bruh. Your arms don't even work, man. Like, stop this shit. Like, you can't be serious, bruh. You, you can't be serious, bruh. Because if you are, and you were my dad, 
Because your kids do got to claim you was daddy. I will be disappointed. Tell me to get trash out. I'll be like, no. Then he going to say, if, if I got smacked like that, punch. Like Kwame said, you let a motherfucker. Excuse me. You let somebody cuff your ass, boy. And ain't nobody die. All you did was go try to stab for him. International clown. What you say, I better stop talking about Chicago dogs. I already invited you to, to have a boxing match, right? After you said you got money to put up and you declined. I ain't scared to get punched in my face. We ain't got to go back and forth on the internet. As a matter of fact, all you dudes that got a problem with me, I ain't talking about the dirty section. Of so now look, this is what I'm talking about. So all the dudes that got a problem with you, which is people like me and Tommy, I mean, me and, and uh, Kwame and forgot, people like us. But you you call us a dirty section of YouTube, so. Or do, but then you want to go against celebrities because celebrities bring you that thing. Well, listen here, boy. Celebrities don't got time for your little high yellow ass. Okay? They really don't. Secondly, shit, at least Tommy opened the phone lines up and let motherfucking people vent to him. And how they feel about you won't even open the lines up. But then when you do, you catch a whole attitude because somebody say I like blue and because you like red and they don't. You'll catch a whole attitude, bro. A whole. Oh man, bro, you were the ugliest chipmunk I've ever seen. YouTube. I'm talking about the G's. I only sit up there and spar with gladiators, not you weak dudes. I only spar with gladiators, not you weak dudes. Y'all dudes talking about, don't talk about Chicago. Why would I stop talking about Chicago when, to, when Chicago has become the pandemic within the pandemic in New York City? Oh, what y'all want me to take you out of school and show you? Yeah, take me to school and show me whatever it is you want to teach. Because on my last video, your mental state was messed up. And then literally about a week later, you took a week off. So clearly I was right about something. Heartless, welcome, welcome, welcome. Only dude I check if on a YouTube thing. And everybody that's supporting me right now, make sure y'all hit the like button and share this because I'm going all the way in on this live right here. I had to take some time off for myself. For myself. YouTube is... Um, real quick. I thought we can take time off. It is for yourself and or your family. I thought that's about the only time you take time off. Bro, I don't even want to watch this video anymore because Kwame pretty much explained it. He pretty much explained it. He double talked the whole time. And it really doesn't make any type of sense whatsoever, bro. But I'm going to give you a couple more minutes just to hang yourself by your fake gold chains. And then I'll be back. Probably later for part two and three because you are going to be a highlight for the rest of next week. It's not my whole life. I done mastered this. Now I don't even want it. Y'all want it worse than what I wanted. I don't even want it no more. Because it's ugly. Now he doesn't want it anymore. He sold his bunghole. He sold his thighs. He sold his arms. And even live for three bodies. And now he don't want it. <laughs> I don't know if I should leave it right here. Or let him talk some more so we can laugh some more. I, I, I really don't. How much time we got? Let me see. Oh, you got about like a couple minutes to hang yourself. You get a bunch of Negroes on this YouTube plantation. Matter of fact, YouTube blessed dudes to be able to be content creators. To provide for your family. First YouTube evil, the demons, whatever you just said. <laughs> and then in the same breath, literally, because you didn't take a breath. In the same breath, I can't believe you said they give us an opportunity. You Do you think before? I always wonder why my grandma said think before you speak. Because the shit like that that come out my mouth, she had smacked the hell out of me, bruh. Hey, y'all worse than, yo, you, you worse than the plantation. You got field Negroes killing field Negroes while y'all celebrate the house Negroes. The house Negroes is in there eating 
and you out there trying to kill the field Negroes to impress, uh, to impress the house Negroes. Y'all whack. I think I'm going to end it right here because he talking about how black people killing black people where when in reality, wherever you go and wherever the dominant race is, it's going to be that on that. But we ain't going to go that far. But then he talking about he had rock snob box and turn TVs off and he caught three bodies and he wear gold chains and he go to the hood and he he kill a nigga if he got to. Isn't that what he said, right? The guy who keeps saying he's for the kids, stop the violence, but he sees there's more money in that BS he talks than it is in the truth that you talk. So I'm going to end it here, man. Depending on how many views y'all like this video, man, y'all hit that like and like it all the way up. Comment, subscribe. I do a part two. And then how that go, I do a part. Man, I do how many y'all want me to break this down by. I do it in 10 second in increments, 15, whatever however y'all want it. But remember, I'm 7420 TV, man. I'm here, man, to say this shit that y'all can't say that I will say for y'all. Hi, my think it's a podcast. I am out of here. Get high, 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 get high,